So we're basically just gonna replicate what we have here on the rear, although it should be easier because- No steering. No steering. Ideally, I would like all four engines on one pedal. Yeah, no, I agree. But, you know, but until then, I think it would be cool to just rig up some kind of four independent throttle system. That's fine. That's fine. You were talking about we needed more gussets, some bigger gussets. I wasn't talking about it. I think that was a lot of you. We've got some here on these plates. You're talking about doing off-roading. Yeah. We're going to have to do some trimming on these plates. We're going to cut a triangle out here. Yep. Because this is going to hook off everything. everything. On the back here, same thing cut a triangle out there and move this linkage up. That's a gusset. Same thing on that side, same thing on that side. Well, I can get cutting. You can get figuring on the rear. So I'm about to get cutting on these to make some more gussets. And before I do so, I just wanna let you guys know that while I'm not very good with a cutoff wheel, um, these blades are terrible. They turn into dust no matter how conservative you are with them. These wheels aren't branded, so I can't tell you what brand to look out for, but uh, they're kind of terrible. Already gone through half a blade and I've barely done anything. Bam. You know what, just for you guys, I'm gonna clean this metal up before I weld to it because I noticed there were a lot of comments like, oh, you didn't clean the metal. What's up, dog? Been painting your fingernails? What do you say? You got a manicure? Yeah, I got a Medi Pedi. Nice. We fixed the swing. The swing has been fixed. Joe will be safe now. I'll work on the engines on the back. Isaac Pondas again. So I'm let, oop, nailed it. Go karts on the ground. We need to find a level area so we can uh, level up the rear engines, get our plates welded. If we got enough room. We do. Oh, we're here. Oh, this is good. All right, cool. So we need our American throwing triangles. We need engine plates. Links in the description, ladies and gentlemen, to these nice engine plates. They're a little rusty, but that's because they've been sitting in the rain for a while. It's gonna be a little tricky because we gotta get them straight and level on three planes. This one, this one, and this one. Look at that bead. Let's check the other planes. Ah! Oh. No, actually, it's not bad. Not really? How'd I go out that far? <laughs> <laughs> this is Isaac and the art of Riggery. That the plane is fine. On his face. That plane is fine. I believe we are. I believe we are golden. Other side? Other side. This side has to be a little more than an inch and a half away. <laughs> Look at the one looking at his reflection in the Miata. <laughs> Oh, don't peck it. Oh, no, 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 no. One chicken. There you go, that's what I thought. All right. Good enough for testing purposes only? Good enough for testing purposes. Sweet. I'm going to steal an engine cover off of... Are you kidding me? That doesn't have an engine cover. There's not one of that one. We haven't broken that many. All right. Where's my victim? I'm gonna choose my poor purple race cart here. The axle's bent. It happened like, wow, that was last year already. That was like almost a year ago. So many spoilers. Sweet. We don't want the low oil sensor anyway. Looks like 
Yeah. All good. So I've seen that some of you guys have commented saying that you're concerned that our legs are gonna get destroyed. What we have is a cover. One of these is sent with every Go Power Sports torque converter. This is just the first time we've ever installed one. So I got this torque converter installed. Ike, what you been up to, man? Plates. I had to trim out a little bit for the uh, torque converter right here. And I just marked it and I cut it out. And right here at the sharp intersection, I did a little weld there and a little, little weld there because it, it'll it crack snare. there. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Oh, wow. It does move still some, doesn't it? Uh, but we need to uh, gusset these. Yeah. Because yeah. that, that has got some flex in it too. Look at it. Wait, I, can you hold the camera for a second, bud? Yeah. All right, big moment about to happen. Is there? Big moment. The fourth engine. There are four engines sitting on that go-kart. <laughs> I love it. Of course you do. Oh, man. All right, 212 times four is 848. 48. I might have to cut more of this because when this swells, the belt will actually grow out here. Oh, true. I keep forgetting about throttles. Yeah, we'll handle this now and then I'll do gussets and you'll do throttles. Up now. So more gussets, these are gonna go, ooh, these are gonna go here like that, bada bing, bada boom. And then on this side, it's closer. So I'm just gonna cut it and uh, do the same kind of deal. So Ike's been working on a rear bumper. Uh, he's gonna weld that on. And uh, we're gonna have two more mounting spots for gussets. out. I'm going to stand on it, look for uh, flexing. Yeah. Way better than it was. No, oh, I mean, there's like a little bit, but I mean... I think it'll be all right. Yeah, it'll be fine. Cool. All right, dude, I'm going to stand on this one. All right. It already feels stronger. Ready? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it looks way better. Now I'm working on hooking up the throttle. So I've got to hook the throttle up to this piece. I got a cable going around underneath the cart and it's gonna to go to the gas pedal. The cable's a little short, so I'm gonna add a, I guess I'll add a little bit of coat hanger. I like that view you got going on. This view? Yeah. Problem is I can't work on it. <laughs> I'm sure it's like a really good view of like, oh, it's, know, it's a really, what's going on. really good view. Hey, will you tell me if I got full throttle back there? Hold it. Yep. Cool. Let me check it out. Look. Nice. <laughs> I like it, man. I can tell you exactly what proper braking is. is full throttle valve float. Full throttle. <laughs> All right. Got this throttle done.
last two games. What? Yeah. On this side. Both on this side. Oh, we didn't even uh, tighten up the uh, bolt. Oh, the nuts. Yikes. I only have one engine running. What? So we lost two chains and one engine. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be fine. Alright, that one's loose. Again. I just tightened that one. We'll Alright, how about... Yeah, how about you compress it yeah, to get fine. it super I'll tight. Oh, 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 oh. oh, lost the chain. Wow. Holy cow. You can see his neck snap back. <laughs> Alright, what do you think, man? The acceleration was pretty good. It looked nutty. Yeah. In a good way. Yeah. You should see some sparks from the front left one because the chain came off and put itself back on. It I saw that it put itself back four on. Four times. <laughs> Um, I believe that we've got a misalignment on this engine from the uh, sprocket somehow. Okay. Oh yeah, it's way out of alignment. It's the whole engine's twisted. I guess when we tightened it, got it out of alignment. I guess what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to just crank up each individual engine. Right. And check alignment of the chain and then move on to the next one. Yeah, because they all kind of, or at least two of them make noise. Yeah, well, it doesn't help that we have the wrong link. Not bad, though. Um, it launches. It launches real hard. What do you think? Pretty hard. What, what do you think of uh, putting it up against 670? Oh, man. We'll have to modify these, I think. Well, for And fix steering the steering, man. Yeah. The steering, steering is just too be, much. It's yeah. too scary. Yeah, sketchy. Anyway, we got to thank Go Power Sports for the engine torque converters the end wheels, tires, all those things. Links in the description. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Check me out at Isaac It'll Be Fine. On YouTube. That's right. Thanks for watching. What do you think? I think it's awesome. We'll see you in the next one.